plutonic programs also across the nation decentralized education decentralized education there are people getting together with collectives right now hiring independent educators to teach um, like-minded uh, parents that want to protect their kids from indoctrination and want to empower them to become free thinking human beings that's my main job by the way <laughs> aside from teaching mathematics is to help uh, kids to become critical thinkers free right oh my god i fear for the current youth they are like, uh, there there are some very intelligent people there but they're that the, the indoctrination is crazy powerful again it's crazy powerful the woke uh, the the agenda of wokeism pushed from centralized power is is intoxicating to a lot of youth which are trying to find a purpose in life right so as educators for for me anyway my main purpose is to try to empower uh, my students to decide their own fate to find their own passions to to really have critical thought and to try to um, become independent and realize basically to build up their BS detectors their bullshit detectors well enough to realize when they're being played with or they're being they're being lied to right that's my main one of the main things I try to teach my students and I don't I don't imprint them with my philosophy of life I imprint them with my tools that I've acquired in life which is a totally different thing right centralized education tries to imprint right kids in school with their ideology with their doctrines with their dogmas with their with their agenda right and if there is a tool that will prevent kids from being brainwashed they've pulled that out right they don't teach that anymore which is what's happening with mathematics they've cut the math curriculum like what they taught us in school me in school like 40 years ago is what they compared to what they're teaching now it's about 40 percent less now 30 to 40 percent less content in a ain't take any grade grade in high school grade 8 9 10 11 or 12 any grade there's 40 percent less content there than there was 40 years ago there's 30 percent less content there than there was 20 years ago that's right 15 year 10 year it it's crazy it's crazy right so that's what centralized power is trying to do and how we prevent them right we teach kids how to be free thinking human beings critical thinkers we build up their bullshit detectors right we teach them how to read data how to read graphs how to how to smell the bullshit coming a mile away right which is what mathematics does Lord Eskil as a history student myself the very select part they teach in school says enough yeah <laughs> it's really crazy right I don't know about the massacres my country committed until I research it myself in my opinion they put heavy propaganda and uh, a lesson plans indeed it's garbage like by the way what we're talking about regarding education it's not just math related as Lord Eskil is pointing out it's everywhere it's history history taught in taught in centralized indoctrination centers that's pure pure indoctrination pure indoctrination it's crazy as well as current media propaganda it's 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 an attack on humanity from all fronts right may it be your uh, consumption of food what you eat may it be news you watch may it be movies tv shows music on every front every front they're taking centralized power is taking taxpayer money from individuals from a society and the bureaucrats are deciding what to push on that society right 
in which direction so this is top-down management it's slavery right because the top control everything not just not just not just government right or bureaucracy they control everything right they set up the uh, school curriculums they fund media they fund movies they fund projects they fund artists they fund 